everybody, let's make two Christmas aprons. So this idea came from my last Christmas sewing ideas video. What do you mean you haven't watched it yet? Get back and watch it! What I wanted to make was a apron where I could embroider something on the front and we are going to make that today. It's called the one yard apron pattern. Not very imaginative title really, is it? We're going to make that today, but I also have a bit of a thing for ruffles at the moment. So I decided that I was going to make a second one, which is just like a half sized one. And I was gonna put ruffles around the edge. It's gonna look super cute. But of course, before I make anything, we're gonna need some fabric. I have got from my stash some red felt and some green gingham. I've got about two meters of the green gingham and I've got about a meter of the red felt. My plan is for apron number one, I'm going to cut it like half and half. So it's going to have red felt on the top and green gingham on the bottom. The reason being that I think I can embroider through this a lot easier. So that's my plan for the first one. For the second one, I think I will have gingham and then it will be backed with the red felt and then it can have a gingham frill on the bottom as well. It's gonna look adorable. One of the patterns is available to download, which will be down below in the comments. And the other one, I'm just gonna freehand, but don't panic, I will give you all the um, dimensions and the, what word am I looking for? The numbers, the thing with the numbers where you measure. I will put all of the measurements in the video. Should we get to it? Let's go. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Philly and I just love sewing and crafting and doing all fun things. I would absolutely love it if you could do the like and do the subscribe and even if you could possibly share my videos with other people. Mwah! Love you. By the way, the kids are off school and all I can hear is them fighting upstairs. <laughs> so if you can hear them fighting upstairs, then welcome to real life. This happens. I have printed off the pattern for the one yard magic apron. I got it wrong before, it's not just any old apron. Magic. It's also got on it what else I need to cut out. In inches, not fun. Uh, two strips, one rectangle, and this. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna do before I start cutting is I'm going to work out my measurements for the second one. And I'm going to put my measurements on an absolute YouTube staple of the back of an envelope. So, got my tape measure. So this is what my measurements are going to look like. I'm
pieces for apron number one. So I've got the bottom, I've got the top, I've got the straps around the neck and I've got the straps around the waist. This should be a pretty straightforward assembly piece. The only thing I'm concerned about is going round the edges. I might make some bias binding to go round the edge of that as well, just to make it look a bit prettier. This is for apron two. We've got the front, we've got the backing. I've got the, oh no, this is the ruffle and this is the waistband. Um, can we all take a second for the uh, <laughs> for the fabric weights? If you would like to see me use some prettier fabric weights, then you can give me a super thanks down below or whatever it is. And I will spend the money <laughs> on getting some fabric weights that aren't tins from the cupboard. Okay, I've whipped up some bias binding because I think I'm going to have to put it around the edge. I'm going to attach the top and the bottom piece together and then I'm going to press it and then I'm going to overstitch it again. made all the straps, I folded them over, turned them inside out, did all the magical things. Um, I've realised I'm going to have to attach the two side ones first, then I'm going to have to bias the top and then put the two top ones on after that. But the overstitching went quite well. Um, I've hemmed the bottom and then once I've put the side straps on and the bias, then I will hem the side too. wanted to show you the reality of what it looks like at half term okay so we've got the irons out because I'm pressing everything then I'm making pancakes but I've still got my cameras and my thingies my fabric scissors in there and I'm watching Lydia Millen all at the same time whilst there's a kid oh there was a kid around the corner as well hiding the irony is not lost on me that um, I'm making an apron whilst trying to cook pancakes and not being able to wear said apron whilst making pancakes. Ta-da! So the next thing is the next straps are on, all the bias bindings on. Um, I need to tidy it up and then I need to hem these sides. And then I think I'm finished. Well, for apron number one anyway. Fit check number one. Ta-da! I think it's gonna look so cute with something embroidered on the front, isn't it? And it was so easy to make up. If I was doing it again, I think I would line the whole thing in felt, because this hasn't got much substance to it, has it? So I would line the whole thing in felt and then I would put the green just over the top. Right, let's crack on with the second apron. 
Apron number two. So I've got a back and a front. Um, it's just simply to have a lining around the back so that I can put the um, ruffle in. I'm gonna make the two waist ties first. I thought about having a band across the top, but now I've changed my mind. So I'm just going to have two ties coming off the side. So I've just cut some, turned the, um, folded them in half. I'm going to sew along the top and down the side, turn it inside out, um, then press it, and then go around the outside nicely. I'm gonna do that times two. And then I've got the ruffle to make as well. So the same principle will apply. I'll fold it in half. I will go across. I will then turn it inside out and then I'll start gathering it. While I'm busy doing this, the little miss has been busy making a dress for her doll. What did you make this out of? A sock. A sock. And show me it's an off the shoulder number with a gorgeous belt. Cut on the bias. I love it. How long did it take you to make? Um, only a few minutes. Only a few minutes? <laughs> Do you want to come and do some videos for me on showing people how to make it? No. No? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I have made the ruffle and I have pinned it, or well, clipped it, to the backing. I'm going to baste stitch it around the edges and then I'm going to take the top and I'm going to clip all of that around and then I'm going to firm stitch it but only around the three sides and leave the top open to turn it all inside out. So I've pressed this in neatly. I've just got to top stitch all around the front and then I'll be done. Fit check.
So obviously this is it round the one way. I, uh, I'm not impressed with how <laughs> much of the threads cling to the um, felt, but that's okay. And then this is it round the other way. Don't mind me, just doing myself up. Ta-da! I think I prefer it round the other way. It looks so cute, doesn't it? I love the red and the green. I think that's adorable. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely prefer it this way. Gorgeous! Apron number two, done. I am absolutely over the moon with those. I really, really like the bottom half one uh, because I like the ruffles. I love me a ruffle. I do actually have a project coming up on my uh, Monday videos or Tuesday videos, depending on how you look at it, um, which will involve ruffles as well sometime soon. But for now, take a look at the photos of my gorgeous pinnies as modeled by the beautiful Betty and enjoy. See you soon, everybody.